Really under pressure from Scott Allen there. Did well to dig out a pass to O'Donnell. McKenzie looking to latch onto this thanks to the slip from Porches. Chance for McKenzie to pull the trigger. Again on the right foot. It's tame. Horgan now with a chance to cut in on his left foot. Looking for the far corner. And it's tipped over by Bernescu. That's exactly what we were talking about pre-match, Alan. Horgan's ability to cut in onto that left foot. Really decent shot. It, it, it did give Bernescu quite a lot of problems because he's back pedaling slightly. And then it's Hibbs number 14. Malin. Decent effort. Oh decent save. <laughs> Certainly was. The ball was up and down. It was going under the bar. And there's no question Bernescu got across well to save what was going to be a certain goal. I think he predicted the flight of the ball very well there, Bernescu. He did. Not quite right in the corner for Malin. I'm sure he was aiming for the apex more than that, but Bernescu still was forced into action. O'Donnell, chance for him to stretch his legs. Does he have the confidence? Goes infield to power. Really, really intricate play between the pair there. Now O'Donnell coming forward. Slightly hesitant, plays it to El McCreaney. Feeds McKenzie on the edge of the box. On his left foot, McKenzie deflected over the bar. That was a terrific move from Coman, like from start to finish, there's great football in it. This intricate play just inside their own half with the three the guys, you know, it was around about O'Donnell, it was lovely. And McKen then the, the attack was so controlled. McKenzie did well to shift it onto his left and he was confident enough to have a go. He was. Good defending in the end from Hibbs. It was Naismith, I think, who deflected it over. Second bite at the cherry, though, for the home side from the corner. McKenzie in. And it's met by the head of Del Fabro, and he really should be hitting the target from there. That has to go down as a chance. I think he was put off by the player in front of him going in, and I'm not sure the player in front of him wasn't pushed in the back to get him away from the ball. Well, Finlay threw himself at it. That was a real chance. Del Fabro met it. Not cleanly enough, though. Allen looking to clip it into Camberi's feet. I think just overcomplicating it though. Yes. The Hibs central midfield there. He had better, easier options. That's, That's a some ball. pass into the path of Lee Miller on his right foot. Yes. And he calls it round Marciano. Come on at lead 1-0. It's Miller's first goal since returning on loan from Liverpool. 55 minutes going, 1-0 to Kilmarnock and it was that, what, 50-yard pass that split the defence wide open An absolutely astounding pass from Stephen O'Donnell right into the path of Kelly's left winger and it was composed forward play from number 11 just to slot it past Hibbs goalkeeper O'Donnell's pass absolutely raking took Porteous right out the game and when he was one-on-one -on -one, you had the feeling that Miller was going to put that one away. He took it very coolly, didn't he? Just ran into the keeper. The keeper came out, low to the keeper's left, into the corner of the net. Good delivery oh, from Allen. Super delivery. Inviting somebody to head it. McKenzie and Miller nearly shutting that out. Malin's delivery again from the second ball is a good one. O'Donnell tries to head it clear, but he's only pushed it into the path of Holberg. It's a free kick. It, it, yes, it, it was a, a push, a blatant push. Yeah. Canberra fails to bring it under control, but you know he's a tenacious player, manages to keep up a fight. Brophy looking to hold up, plays it in field to McKenzie, who's trying to play the return pass for Brophy, but Miller's going to latch onto it. Chance for Miller now to try and get a shot away. He's gone down under the attention of Naismith. No, there was nothing. Clancy says no penalty. No, I would agree with him. Good play from Decker to play it into McKenzie. Potential sight of goal. Decides to pass to Stephen O'Donnell. Good cut back. And then Brophy sends it just the wrong side of the post. Really good attacking play from Kelly. And from here, it looked like Brophy's effort had snuck in at the near post. It, it was a great effort, wasn't it? O'Donnell again at the heart of that. You know, he put in the pass that gave us a goal. Can't bring it down though with his chest. And Scott Allen's not going to keep that one in. And Stephen O'Donnell actually elects to clear. Must have been going out for a corner. Alan Power in strongly, really well done there, and he's fed it lovely. Ball into the path of Brophy. Now Alan Power again, he's got Kelly company at the edge of the box. It's El McCreaney, chance to pull the trigger, and it's in! Mohamed El McCreaney scores his first goal for Kilmarnock. An absolutely tremendous counter-attack from the home side. Alan Power with the awareness to pick him out, and El McCreaney with the coolness to slot it into the far corner.
We talked about the ability of a, a Belgium team to cut through a team. That was exactly what Kilmarnock did there. Power cut, did the first bit of job, passed inside, ran on, took the return, passed it again. Every pass was perfect. It was exactly where they wanted it to go. And the finish from El Machini was absolutely superb. Really good interchange between Alan Power and Eamon Brophy. Unselfish all round and a really good finish from Kelly's number 15. And that is full time. It's Kilmarnock 2, Hibs 0. And it, to be honest, it's what both teams deserve from this game.